गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स एंड परमजीत कौर टुडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन द टॉपिक टाइप्स ऑफ एजुकेशन देर आर थ्री मेन टाइप्स ऑफ एजुकेशन फॉर्मल इनफॉर्मल एंड नॉन फॉर्मल फर्स्टली आई विल एक्सप्लेन फॉर्मल एजुकेशन फॉर्मल एजुकेशन ट्राइज टू मॉडिफाई द बिहेवियर ऑफ द चाइल्ड थ्रू एन ऑर्गेनाइज सिस्टम ऑफ एजुकेशन विच इज स्पेशली एस्टेब्लिश फॉर द पर्पज द टीचर कीप्स इन माइंड मैनी रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन रिलेशन विद द स्टूडेंट्स द एजुकेशन इज इम्पार्टेड इन अ प्री प्लान मैनर एंड आफ्टर केयरफुल थाट द टीचर ट्राइज टू ब्रिंग अबाउट ऑल राउंड डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ द चाइल्ड keeping in mind the needs of the individual and the society formality is found in co-curricular activities planning of monthly or yearly program is done in advance that is time of opening the school time of teaching the subject time of closing the school in formal education hours of study methods of teaching textbooks and curriculum are preplanned it includes conscious efforts on the part of society to educate in formal institutions such as schools and colleges these are some examples of formal education second is informal education exactly opposed to formal education informal education is not preplanned it is not limited to a specific or a particular period of life there is no regular time table or specific curriculum no such fixed aims gone in formal education the only one aim can be the fullest development of personality neither the educator nor the educant is conscious about the process in formal education lays great stress on practicality no particular age in limit can be fixed for starting or completing informal education no specific ends for their man's participation in life is social status some examples of informal education and third is non formal education non formal education is given intentionally but outside the usual formal system of education means of non formal education are correspondence courses radio television seminars discussion workshop etc process of learning is systematic it is a lifelong process but even then the time of correspondence course seminar workshop television radio program etc are fixed the discipline is not imposed but the person is kept formally busy to inculcate self discipline the teachers are experienced and professional persons who play the role of a friend philosopher and guide the source of inspiration is education training or organization of new knowledge process of learning is systematic some organization is always behind it and last we can say that all the types of education are very essential in the modern age these are interdependent and interconnected we cannot ignore the significance of schooling instruction and training and the j krishna murthy is rightly said education is not merely acquiring knowledge gathering and correlating facts it is to see the significance of life as a whole thank you and have a nice day